So no matter what you do, a bad cape is a bad cape. It's not going to go away if you don't cut it the right way. No importa cómo lo hagas. Si una capa la has cortado mal, la has hecho mal, se va a ver mal. No importa qué pose le des a la figura. So the best thing to do is to cut it correct the first time. Unfortunately, I haven't found any videos that truly show you how to do this. Desafortunadamente no he encontrado otros tutoriales que me enseñen cómo hacerlo correctamente. And if you take a look at the wire at the bottom edge, that's a mistake because you're never going to get a relaxed look out of that cape ever again once you bend it. Lo mejor es, es hacer un patrón que te funcione cons consecutivamente para cada capa que quieras hacer. En este momento, esta capa es la que hice porque pensé que esa era la manera de hacerlo. So, in this video, which you probably saw in the past, I decided to use this pattern. At the time, I thought it was the thing to do. And I thought it was the correct way to make a cake. For one, I didn't have anybody else showing me. Now that I've progressed in the technique, I can show you how much more it has improved with the new pattern that I have for using these capes. So as you can tell in this clip, at the moment, the cape looked great. However, the material is still too thick, too heavy, the wire was too thick, and it just didn't take ironing well, so I couldn't create sharp, crisp pleats. It looks okay here because of the lighting and the way I posed it, but I just wasn't 100% happy. So I want to share with you what, in my opinion, is a correct Superman kit. Aunque le he dado aquí una pose a esta figura con la capa, más o menos se ve bien, pero todavía la plancha no pudo hacer los pliegues necesarios para que se vean nítidos. Sin embargo, quiero mostrarles lo que, en mi opinión, es una capa correctamente hecha para un Superman. Esta no es el material que me gustó. Es como algún rayón, algún uh, material sintético. Lo mejor es algodón. Now, this cape looks much better. The material is cotton. It's not a synthetic material like a rayon, etc. Cotton is so much nicer to work with. Not only is it light, but it pleats very easy when you iron it. However, if you iron it in the correct spot, it is very difficult to take that pleat out. And you may see that in your final look. So be very careful on your first ironing of this material. Now the flares that you see on the far end, left and right, that's excess material that needs to be cut. This one here isn't refined yet. The next clip will show you what I did to clean it up. Now, you can, you can tell it's a half moon pattern, very similar to the others, still have the tabs at the top, but it's got nice, crisp, clean pleats. Now, the excess material where I'm pointing with my fingers, that's where I'm going to cut. Aquí es donde voy a hacer el corte en este pliegue para eliminar el exceso de material, aproximadamente una pulgada y media a cada lado. So about an inch and a half on each side is what I ended up cutting off with this rotary cutter. Now the tabs at the top, because I did glue those down, those ended up hardening. So I had to uh, pry them apart so the cutter can cut clean and not leave a jacket edge. Now I will have to add the wire to that edge now because I cut it off. There's no wire at the bottom, remember. It's a clean piece of material at the bottom. And look, you can have a relaxed look on the actual cape. And you can still have a flight mode by having the wire on the edges. Como ven, no hay un alambre en la orilla que está abajo en la capa. Solamente a la orilla, o al lado izquierdo y derecho de la capa. Y esos son los que tenemos que cortar y reemplazarlos en la nueva orilla que vamos a hacer con este corte. Pero quiero que vean en el siguiente uh, segmento, en el siguiente clip, cómo se ve ya la capa refinada. So I want you to take a look at the next clip with this same figure. Actually, it's a different figure, I'm sorry. But it's a short cape. It's a now a clean look. It's got a nice, clean, ironing, crisp, 
between lines. And by the way, that emblem you see in the center, that's cut on a Cricut cutter. I had to order that. So now take a look how much cleaner, how much more refined this cape looks. And there's no sewing. This is all using iron-on adhesive at the edges and then using an iron to make the pleats on this cotton fabric. And then the folds that go over the shoulder are much easier to make. Now the shoulders do have the holes to actually push in the material and that helps you create an extra pleat as it folds over. There's no gluing on the figure. And the nice thing is that you can actually swap out the cape if you wanted to for either a longer one or a wider one or one with more pleats which you're gonna see in the next few clips because I did make three different looks for these capes. Each one has a totally different characteristic but it looks much nicer than my prior capes that you've seen and it looks way better than some of the ones I've seen offered on eBay. Take a look at the next clip. Ahora les voy a mostrar el patrón que utilicé para la siguiente capa. Now I'm going to show you the pattern that I used on the next cape. It's a little bit longer, a little bit wider. Es un poquito más ancha, más larga. Sin embargo, el corte aunque lo hice mal, te voy a mostrar cómo corregirlo. Now you do need a piece of material that is longer or taller than your figure. And if you want it to be a wide span, then you need to take into account that it's got to be at least anywhere from 10 to 12 inches in width. Fold the material in half so that you, when you cut it, you'll have matching sides. Así es que si tu figura es aproximadamente 7 pulgadas, quieres un pedazo de material que esté a la altura de la figura o más. En este caso, unas 8 pulgadas y medio. Now, this is the tape that is the adhesive. It has a backing on it and you iron it on. Very simple, no sewing, and it works really well. This is the cutter we're going to use, a rotary cutter, because it's so much easier than scissors. And we need our straight edge. So at the top, I will need to have a two inch cut at the top to create the neckline. I also need an extra inch for the tab that's gonna go over the shoulder. Arriba necesito aproximadamente dos pulgadas, una para hacer el corte para el cuello, la otra pulgada para hacer el corte para una correa que va entonces a poder implementarse para conectar la capa a los hombros. Now on the right hand side, my thought was to cut three inches off but that was actually not enough material. I actually should have cut five inches off of the material on the right hand side to be closer to the bottom edge and giving me a smoother rounded cut when I made the cut at the bottom to, me, the, to cut off those corners. So here, the cut that I'm making is actually incorrect. But if you take the same idea and cut down further two inches on the right hand side, you'll have a narrower and more correct cape for a Superman. So if you don't get these cuts right, you'll notice it on the end result. You'll have these flared out ends that are kind of by themselves. They don't match up with the uh, cape and it just looks really odd. So you'll see that in just a moment. Now, ahora, si no cortas esta capa correctamente, vas a ver lo notable que es cuando configures tu figura al final y veas que la capa en realidad como que está fuera de serie. Tendrá unas puntas que no tienen un lugar donde estar. En este caso, ya recorté una pulgada arriba para hacer esa correa que necesito y al lado derecho aquí corté tres pulgadas. En realidad debería haber cortado cinco más cerca a la orilla de abajo por la razón de que al hacer el corte para cortar esa punta tendría una tirada mucho mejor, más angosta y más nítida. Ahora voy a hacer el corte dentro para esa correa y tener la orilla para hacer el cuello. So now I'm going to cut along the other side of the tab that I need for the shoulders and make now the cut for the neckline. I'm going to cut half inch deeper so that when I actually make that neckline, 
I can fold it over without interfering with the actual tabs. And you'll see that in just a moment. Starting at this corner and very carefully going around in a half circle, meeting up with the bottom. Now, as you can see, I cut a big chunk out, but an actual um, correct cut would have cut it would have been to cut more at an angle and have a smaller rounded corner. But you'll see that in just a moment how I correct that. But this is the initial pattern for a better Superman cape. So we're we're halfway there. We're not totally there yet. Vamos a la mitad. Este es un mejor patrón para un corte para una capa de Superman. Necesitas las dos piezas arriba que están libres de la capa para poder hacer ese doblez. Y aquí mi corte está muy alto. Debería haber sido a un ángulo más empinado hacia abajo para tener un círculo más pequeño abajo. Now this is the fabric iron-on adhesive that I've already added and as you can see I actually cut it in half and I put it in all the way around the edge. Why? Because it's easier to do this now than to do it later one piece at a time. So the more you have done the easier it is for you to do the ironing. Now the trick to this is you don't want to hold the iron in one place too long. It tends to disintegrate that glue and then it won't adhere to the material. You just need to tap it so that it actually holds down on its own and then move on to the next part of that tape. So don't sit there on top of the tape for a minute or two. Five, 10 seconds is enough. That'll melt the glue just enough to hold the material. Once you peel it off and you fold it over, same thing. Five to 10 seconds, boom, boom, a little piece at a time. And because the tape is so thin that I've cut it down, it's easy to make those corners. Así que cuando planches esta pegadura, este adhesivo que viene en una cinta, córtalo a la mitad para que sea más angosto. Entre más angosto, más fácil es hacer esas curvas. Y no planches por larga duración sobre un solo punto. Solamente con tocar la plancha hacia el resistol, este adhesivo, se, puede, se pega rápido. Entonces, puedes hacer el trabajo más nítido y más ligero. Si te sientas demasiado tiempo en una sola zona porque piensas que no está agarrando el resistol, lo que estás haciendo es reditiéndolo y estás destruyendo el pegamento que tiene que entonces no va a poder agarrarse al material. So now here is the finished cape of that pattern that we just cut. And as you can see, at the very edges, it flares out. I really don't like that, but I love the pleats. They turned out great. Yeah, and my logo's too low. I'll fix it in just a moment. But right now, I want you to take a look at how much better it is, but also where the points are that we need to take care of. Quiero que mires el patrón como quedó ya finalizado. Se ve mucho mejor la capa, tiene los pliegues más bonitos. Sin embargo, el logotipo está muy abajo. Eso se puede corregir también. 
pero esa tunta que ves a la derecha no tiene lugar allí, se ve mal. Entonces vamos a hacer esa corrección en el siguiente clip para que veas cómo se había corregido. This is the same cape, and you can tell that just by cutting off those two ends, it looks much more refined. It's the same material, I just added a new edge, replaced the wire, and cut in tighter on the corners, and made a, a sharper angle on that long cut along the seam. It looks so much better. Now, let me show you on the next clip all my different attempts to get to this point. Now, all the pieces that you see there at the bottom, those are all the remnants that I cut off of some of these caves while I was fixing them. Toda la pedacera que ves ahí abajo son las piezas que recorté a estas capas para poder lograr lo que ahora estás mirando. En este segmento puedes mirar todos mis intentos desde que comencé hasta donde estoy hoy. So we started off with an ugly plastic cape, an ugly fabric cape, another ugly fabric cape, and lots and lots of trial and error. But in the end, if you don't try it, you're never going to make it to that look that you're looking for. Now, this is the third pattern that I cut for this Superman. A little bit longer, a little more narrow, a fewer pleats. But yes, there are still some mistakes in this third pattern. It's still too long. And see how it flares out? They just... They just don't look good. So on this particular one, I, again, I had to cut not only the bottom, I cut off an inch to make it shorter so it's not dragging on uh, um, behind him. It's like uh, cut down about an inch so it reaches right to his ankles. And then I cut the ends off again. This time, not as excessive it was roughly about an inch on each side so it wasn't too bad but take a look at the next clip how much better it looks significativamente se ve mejor cuando hace la corrección todavía estaba muy larga y no estaba suficientemente angosta esta es ahora la capa con correcciones más corta más angosta los pliegues se ven super nítidos el emblema se ve nítido está más alto so much nicer when the logo is up a little higher and the pleats are nice and clean and take a look at the fabric. You can have a relaxed look and you can have a in wind or action look. This is on a whole different body. Now it attaches on this one by glue so don't look at the attachment yet. Look at the actual cape and look at the back. Now we have that fold that is behind the neck. So this is a whole different look. Three different capes, three different looks. Just depends on the Superman you want to attach it to. But this looks so much better than the first capes you saw in my first videos. They look way better than a lot of the stuff that's being sold on eBay. So if you have the time to do this for your capes, awesome, do it. Now if you're only going to buy one or make one, then just get it off of eBay. But if you've got 20 or 30 Supermans, this is really going to make a difference for you. Making your own capes is going to make a change in the way your figures look. The material is sold in uh, quarters. Uh, they're called fabric quarters. They're a dollar at Walmart. They're a buck fifty at Durant's Fabrics. And they're really easy to work with. And if they get dirty, you can wash them. It's cotton. Just make sure that the work surface you're working on is clean. No glue, no paint, no marks, because cotton will pick it up very easily. Make sure your iron is clean. Otherwise, as you iron it, you're going to be passing off ink or dyes or glue, and it's just going to ruin your work. Ahora, si solamente vas a utilizar una capa o necesitas solamente una, puedes comprarla en eBay y estás listo, no tienes por qué preocuparte. Pero si tú tienes 25 o 30 figuras de un Superman y cada uno necesita una capa, esa compra se va a hacer excesiva. Por un poco de dinero puedes hacer tú mismo tu capa a tu gusto como tú quieres realizarla. Y se verá mucho mejor que lo que quizás puedas comprar en otro sitio. 
Si tienes el tiempo de hacerlo, te sugiero que lo hagas y que te esmeres en hacer lo mejor posible con esa capa. Ten en mente que el material de algodón necesita tener una superficie que es limpia, que no haya uh, tinta, no haya resistol, no haya cosas que se pueda jalonear la tela y lo mismo con tu plancha asegúrate que esté limpia la superficie que no tenga tinta que no tenga superficie llena de resistor o otros materiales que entonces pueden ensuciar el algodón porque lo vas a mirar al final y entonces tendrías que comenzar de cero pero si te gustó el segmento que miraste esta tarde por favor comenta suscríbete y nos vemos a la siguiente So I'm going to leave you with a small clip of the finished product, all three different looks. All of them have the logo on the back, which is cut on a Cricut cutter. Totally makes a difference. It makes the cape so much nicer. So I hope that you learned something today. I hope that you had some questions answered. If not, leave a question in the comments. Let me know. Like, comment, and subscribe. And we'll see you here next time. Espero que hayas aprendido algo en esta ocasión. Lo voy a dejar con una vista al trabajo ya realizado, finalizado. Y entonces, si tienes alguna pregunta, ponlo en los comentarios. Entonces, nos vemos a la siguiente. Que sigas disfrutando tus figuras.